What's up, everybody? I'm James, and I would rather chew glass than listen to Marty Friedman's J-pop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mario, and I approve this message. <laughs> so, yes, we don't always talk about metal. No. And this is going to be one of those times where we don't talk about metal. Yeah. This isn't just a metal show. It's just a show by two metalheads. So one thing that I've always found that goes hand in hand with metal mm. is horror. Yeah. I love horror. Me too. I grew up on it. My mom used to watch horror movies all the time and always let me watch horror movies, which was really cool. <clears throat> and I think why it never really freaked me out and never really gave me horrible nightmares was my mom kind of explained up. to oh. me... <laughs> What was that? Because you messed up. Yeah. That's probably why it didn't scare me. Yeah. <laughs> um, my mom would explain to me that, you know, look, this isn't real. It's just a flick. This is a guy in a suit playing a monster. It's a story that somebody wrote. But there wasn't an There's no truth. To, to show you the actual actor then. <clears throat> right. <laughs> you know, you know so I, that's kind of what really, you know, I never really got boogeyman nightmares kind of shit. Yeah, I didn't you get know. a lot of them. But I feel like horror has been lacking like, like recently. It certainly has. It's not like it was. It certainly has. Like the slasher flicks are kind of like the thing of the past. Yeah. Which is kind of sad, I guess. And Hollywood's remaking everything. Yeah. Remaking movies that don't need to be remade. Friday the 13th. Yeah. I mean, I liked the remake. I did too. Because I like Michael Bay. Why I think not Michael just Bay's a good uh, director and producer. Do it. Jason, what is it, 12 now? I, th I think 10 it, was in space, and then... Yeah. Was there one And then Freddy vs. Jason was after that. that. That was, <clears throat> I, I guess, 11? No, no, yeah. there was Jason Goes... No, Jason Goes to Hell was before that. That one. was before Jason X. So, yeah, this would be... The new one that's coming out is going to but be... But it was a remake. 13. Wow, look at that. No, 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 there's not a new one coming out. The one that, that already came out. Are they doing another one? They're going to do another uh, one, though, yeah. But but are they... Is it, like, number 13, or... No, it's, it's is actually... It number two it's gonna from be, the other one? It's going to be 12. Yeah, that's what It's going to be the 12th one. But I... But the other one wasn't considered 11. It was a remake. Yeah, that's true. It was kind that's of... Right. Yeah, like... Why not, not so just much... say it's Jason 11? Right. We don't need a remake. Right. And it wasn't like the first one anyway. The not at one, all. Or the second one, which actually was Jason. Yeah. With the sheet over him. Oh, the, the burlap sack yeah. over his head or whatever. Which was cool because they started with that in this yeah. remake. But then he, you know, fell in the hockey mask. I liked the whole thing where he had, like, the underground labyrinth and all that shit. I thought that was fucking cool. Yeah, there was that one uh, in the 80s where he had, like, that shack in the woods or something. Yeah. That that chick ended up falling into. And he had, like, his mother's... His mother's fucking head and her sweater in there <laughs> <Yeah>. and shit. <laughs> Remember the Nintendo Jason? game? Yes. Oh my that god, was that was so awesome. hard. It was so hard. I could never kill him. No, I never made it to the end. And of Jason that. was, when I was younger, was my favorite. Me too. Absolutely. And as I got older, I started liking Pinhead from Hellraiser. Oh, Pinhead's great too. Because that was like more like in your head. Did you see the one that they did that didn't have Doug Bradley playing Pinhead? You know, I, I have the, most I have the last one. one they did, and I haven't watched it. I've heard why. it's, it's I've fucking had it for years now. And I I've watched heard it. it's horrible. I haven't watched it because I've they heard started every like review was number bad. seven and number number like Cyber World and they the started Cyber getting, one was okay. It started getting more like psychological. Whereas it, like and the third one I think had Armored Saint in it and it was just a fucking yes! gore fest. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. The first three were awesome and the fourth one had the backstory which was yep. really cool. Yeah, that was I cool like too. when they go into like oh it's the seventeen hundreds and this is how yeah when the guy. The actual story was about a guy who actually did build puzzle boxes. Yes. And it was a real thing. And they have a house in New York somewhere, or a museum, where they have some of the old ones. And, like, his his house got torn down. Like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. And they, they turned it into the Hellraiser thing, because I guess this is what was supposed to happen if you could figure out the puzzle box. Yeah, if you could open the box. And some of those old boxes were worth millions of dollars. Anybody that has ever <coughs> owned one ended up disappearing. And, that, oh, wow. and that's the, the mythology behind right. them. And I, I guess, so, you know, Tim, what was it? Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, ba Baker? Uh, Clive Barker. Clive Barker. Yes. But when he wrote the books, I guess that was his inspiration for, okay, this is what happens when you open them. I did not know that there was books. Yeah. 
I did well, not know that. I know he recently wrote a book. Okay. And that might be like the conclusion to it or something. Hmm. I'm going to have to get into I haven't, that. I have it. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to have to get into um, that. I don't know if there's a... I th- there's probably other books about it. Yeah. Because I think he did a book about the first one and the second one. Okay. But... And those are great. Did you see the one um, that had the fucking dude who does like the insurance commercials in it? You know, recalculating. <laughs> I've seen all of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And those well, were great. There was the Jason movie with, uh, <coughs> was it Horshack? Or he, he had his job in the Beatle. And Jason just like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, that's the guy from Cotter. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> you know, he was really uh, a uh, pillow biter. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he made that noise while he was getting reamed in the ass. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, God, now I'm picturing fucking John Travolta banging Horseshack in the ass. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta go back to fucking hot red yeah, Lucy Lawless with her fat tits out. Uh, Spartacus. <laughs> Not horror, but still good. Yeah, awesome. But, uh, so what other, uh, what, what were your favorite monsters? If we're talking about the classic shit? Well, any anything. Whatever Which um, I, I love the old black and white stuff because my mom always yeah. had those on VHS and always had With no like fucking Boris Koloff and uh, Karloff, Karloff and, uh, and uh, Lugosi. Lugosi and uh, oh, what was the other guy that there was the Lon guy Cheney Jr. Yeah, Lon Chaney, yeah. that played the werewolf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my favorite out of all those old ones, and I love them all because I've seen them all fucking a half a million times. But my favorites are always Frankenstein. The original, the first one, the first movie, and Bride of Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. I go on like kicks with those, <laughs> where I fucking watch them both back to back and fucking for hours on end, and it's just so great. Bride of Frankenstein is such a fucking awesome classic movie, and you know what's great about that flick is we only get to see the bride. I think. I read somewhere where it's only like sixty or ninety seconds that she's actually on film. Huh. But she's such an iconic image. Yeah. You know, such an iconic monster. Yeah, with the white. Right, and the big beehive fucking yeah. Marge Simpson hairdo. <laughs> that must have been know? where they got that. Oh, I'm sure. Cause yeah, because they made her dress like that for one of the kind of treehouse The treehouse of horror, so. yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, Frankenstein. I think why I like that story so much is because for me, it's a little more believable than Dracula or the Wolfman or even the Mummy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I could actually see Science. somebody fucking freaking out and digging up a dead body and putting a fucking brain in it and fucking trying to bring it to life using electricity. I could see it happening. There was that other movie, too, from the 80s, I think, Reanimator. <clears throat> yeah, Reanimator was cool. I mean, pretty much, I guess it was kind of a take on the idea. Yeah. They brought bodies back to life. It was more... But they were not really human. Right, yeah, it was more like kind of Frankenstein meets a zombie yeah. sort of thing. But yeah, that was a great Those fucking flick too, man. Yeah, definitely. That's the, I mean, This is the stuff that's lacking nowadays in horror. They don't have stuff Originality. Like yeah. That's what's lacking. I mean, I've always been into vampires. Me too. But. Not the sparkly vampires. No, but there hasn't been like a, I mean, like there's always Dracula. There hasn't been like yeah. that iconic every uh like a bunch of episodes or, or movies of you know like like jason right where jason is kind of a zombie did you like blade yeah blade was cool that was they they had this uh anime uh vampire oh, i forgot what it was but and it, it was like the same kind of concept half vampire and he, and he was trying to kill vampire he was a vampire hunter oh cool and it was the same kind of concept it was just cool too Marvel actually just got the rights back to Blade for Blade, yeah. And oh. Wesley Snipes has apparently confronted Marvel and said, "I would love to come back." Oh, really? But the third one was kind of lacking, wasn't it? Or was it a second one? Was it? The no, movie? the second one. I thought the second one was better than the first. That one. was the second one. Was with the crazy looking man? Like, they yeah, were not even weirder looking, right? Yeah, yeah, that was good. I thought the third one was a little kind of. Mm. Eh. That happens. Though. You gotta, you gotta get fresh. You know, there's plenty of comic books to take from. Right, you can get a good story, uh, you know, from for con- that's why I never understand when a comic book movie tanks, or 
I mean, besides having good actors, there's so many stories to choose from. Yeah, because there's so many issues of the book. Yeah, there's so many good options. Right. But we're a little off topic now. <laughs> I think the big thing with that, though, was because Marvel didn't really have a say in it. They sold the rights mm-hmm. to a different studio. Yeah, I guess that. that and now they have the rights back, though, so it'll Will probably... Will Stan Lee make an appearance? That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. He could be a cool vampire. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but So what are your some of your favorite uh, monsters? Um, I like werewolves. Okay. Like the howling was cool when I was younger. The howling is great. Um, there's, there was a lot more... There was a lot more vampire movies, but the werewolf movies seem to have been better. Like, there's a lot of cheesy vampire movies. Oh, yeah, tons. And there wasn't a lot of werewolf movies, <clears throat> and most... But the, they had, like, the silver bullet, which was really cool. That was really good, yep. I think that was a Stephen King thing. Yes, it was. I, I liked that one. That was good. And, um, Bad Moon. Uh... I never saw that one. I think it was called Bad Moon, or Red Moon. I don't remember exactly. I'm, I'm Wolfen? You ever see that one? That wasn't was really that? about where a werewolf There was a Skinwalker's one, I think. That was a little later. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I never saw a wolf in. That recent wolf man was fucking awesome. Yeah, that was good. That was like a wolf man. Right. A different than... And I, nowadays when they do a werewolf movie or werewolves, like they, they, it's like people turn into wolves. No, yeah. I want the the one that looks like a man and a wolf. Like, Right. The wolf man has this smushed face. Yeah. And the werewolf, to me, has the... You know, looks like he's it's got a wolf head. Snout. He's yeah. a gigantic... He's like Bigfoot that looks like a wolf. Yeah. And that's what I like. And they're really not making those anymore. As cheesy as it was, I thought Teen Wolf was funny. Yeah, it was funny, yeah. That was funny. And they have a show now, but I kind of want to check out that. I don't I know if it has anything really to do with the original Teen No, I don't Wolf, think it's though. supposed to be funny. No. I don't think it's a comedy. I think it's supposed to be like an MTV fucking drama thing. But I, I've heard good things about it, and it's been on for many seasons. Mm. So maybe I'll check it out. I, don't, I, don't I just know. hate MTV. Yeah. I don't want to support anything they do anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish they would, you know... Underworld. I like Underworld. Underworld Those was Those awesome. are good werewolves. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, a little too much computer anime, I guess. That's but that's movies you, now, you though. You need to nowadays, I yeah. guess. The, especially if you're going to have a whole army of them. Right. But yeah, the, the, I like the Underworld movies. And Underworld I think they're coming out with cool. another one, too. Oh, good. But the last one was like a uh, big, giant werewolf. Cool. Is it still gonna have that hot chick? I think Kate Beckinsale's coming back. I think the other chick was killed. And oh, good. Because the one that was with, <laughs> well, the one that was with the werewolf. Remember, like her dad killed her. Yes. I think they did that in the prequel. Okay. So now I think, because for some reason Kate Beckinsale, I think she didn't do, she didn't want to do one of the movies, so they they did a prequel instead. Okay. She was dating one of the actors. Hmm. And, and something, or or a director or a writer, somebody that was involved in the movie, and something went wrong with it. Okay. And then, now, she, I, then she came back for the third one. And I, but the guy didn't come back. Hmm. I don't think. Oh, it's been a while. My memory's not so. Good. I I don't remember the third one so well. It was it was more about the werewolves. Yeah, I remember the first two. Those was, were good. It was the third one was good too. It was good, and I, apparently they're doing another one. Cool, but. And Hot Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> nice. It should be good. So, tell us what your favorite horror movies are. Or, yeah, or give us some suggestions. Favorite monsters. Leave comments down here. Yeah, leave some comments. And if you want us to talk about anything, make fun of anything, rant about something, let us know so we get more stuff to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two Elvira. Metal Elvira. Elvira. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, that was big one. She should come back. She had. She was like that. She's still around. But she's not doing movies, I guess. No, but she should do, like, another movie. She had a lot of those good puns. like. Oh, know, yeah. Like, uh, oh, Great sex puns. I remember one, like, she was walking by, like, a movie theater, and one of the letters fell off and hit her in the head. And the guy was like, oh, oh, my God, how's your head? She's like, that's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, man. And when I was little and I saw it, I did not get it. Oh, yeah, right over your feet. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see it when you're a teenager, and you're like, oh, okay. Now I get why this is good, funny. <laughs> you saw her on fucking Counting Cars, right? Yeah. Ooh. I heard she's a bitch. Really? Yeah. That yeah, doesn't shock me. Like, my friends went to a Comic-Con with her once, and they wanted to get, like, a, a picture for me. Because yeah. I liked Elvira when I was younger. And uh, they, they, 
they just took one from the side of her signing stuff because she wanted like money to just have take a picture. Mm. And I was like, yeah, we're not, we don't want to take the picture with you. Right. We just want a picture for our friend. Yeah. Or or and she's like, well, I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like five bucks or it wasn't a big deal. It was like like a hundred. I don't know if it was. I don't know, but it wasn't like it was to the point where they're like, eh, we'll just yeah. take a picture from the side. It wasn't worth it. I mean, she didn't. She wasn't in costume either. She was in her with her red hair. And, with the red hair, yeah. yeah. Which she's still hot as a redhead. It's very shocking, though. Like you see, it her, is. You're like, oh, That's it's the yeah. same girl. <clears throat> it's, it totally looks like a different chick. Have yeah. you seen the Playboy spread of her from back in the day? No. Oh, I saw that Playboy spread. Yeah, I bet you did. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I, bet I you, saw that. I bet you spread, spread something all over it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Covered it with mayonnaise. <laughs> Covered. And on that note, <laughs> two metalheads. Two metalheads.